Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. My name is Michelle Iqbal and I am your science teacher of level 4. In previous video, we will discuss the unit 1, the human body. Now, in this video, we will discuss the exercise of the human body. Now, open your copies and come to very first page of your copy. You will write your name, your class, your section and your subject. Now, turn your page and write the course content of this term. We will discuss five chapters in this term. Unit 1, the human body. Number 2, the characteristic of living things. Number 3, the study of matter. Unit 4, heat. And unit 5, circuits and switches. Now, turn your page and write the lesson outline. Okay, there are five short question answer, four long question answer, exercise question number one, and question number two and three. These exercises should be done on your book. Short and long question answer, you will write short and long question answer in your copy, but exercises on the book per karni hogi, okay? Then fun pages on book, page number 29. And then we, we will draw the diagram nerve cell, epithelial cell and connective tissue. These diagram must be there on your copy. Then short question answer. Question number one. Arrange the following in order of size and increasing complexity. Lung, cell, respiratory system, tissue. Okay, we will uh, arrange them from simple to complex. Okay, the question I put you is arrange kare from the increasing complexity. The simple is to start with the complex is to start last the last one. Okay, cell is, this, uh, cell is this simple organ. Okay, then first we will write cell, then tissue, then lung, and then respiratory system. Okay, then question number two what does musculoskeletal? system mean the answer is musculoskeletal system mean it is the combination of skeletal and muscular system then question number three is how many types of muscles are, are there name them answer there are three types of muscle smooth muscle cardiac muscle and number three is skeletal muscle. Question number four. What is muscular system made up of? Muscular system is made up of muscles and tendons. And question number five. Suggest any two ways to take care of muscles and bone. How can we take care of our muscle and bone? Number one, by doing plenty of exercise. And number two, by eating calcium rich food like cheese, yogurt and milk. Now long question answer. There are four long question answer. Okay. And you should write these long question answer on your copy. Now question number one. Define tissue. Write names and their types. Answer what is tissue? A special group of cells which do a same job is called a tissue. When the cells they group together and they do a same job. Okay, they are known as tissue. There are four types of tissue and they are muscular tissue, nervous tissue, connective tissue and epithelial tissue. Question number two. Write down the function of the following. Muscular tissue, nervous tissue and epithelial tissue. Muscular tissue. Its function is they bring about movement in a body. Nervous tissue. They send signals to and from the brain. And epithelial tissue. They cover some parts of the body. Question number three. What are the main functions of skeleton? There are four main functions of skeleton and these are functions. Number one, it gives strength and support to the body. Skeleton provides support to the body. Number two, it gives shape to the body. Number three, it protects some organs inside the body. And number four, it helps to move your body. 
क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर डिफ्रेंशिएट बिटवीन वॉलेंट्री एंड इन वॉलेंट्री मसल एंड गिव एग्जाम्पल ऑफ ईच वॉलेंट्री मसल दे मूव वेन वी वॉन्ट टू मूव दैम एंड इन वॉलेंट्री मसल दे डू देयर जॉब बाय दैम सेल्फ voluntary muscle when we want to move they move and involuntary muscle they perform their job by themselves they do not need our instructions okay number point number 2 we can control them voluntary muscles can be controlled but involuntary muscles they they do their work automatically example of voluntary muscles are skeletal muscle and involuntary muscles are cardiac muscles now choose the correct answer open your book come to page number 9 choose the correct answer which kind of tissue gives shape to the organs and hold them in a place number a connective tissue number 2 cardiac muscles make up which organs its answer is heart b number 3 which makes our bones strong exercise calcium rich food milk its answer is all of them d number 4 which are the muscles that perform their jobs without you even thinking about them and they are called involuntary muscles option number b and number 5 the smallest bone of the body is in the ear option a is right okay now fill in the blank number 1 page number 9 Number 1 bone is an example of a dash tissue connective tissue Number 2 dash muscles con- contract and relax when pumping blood around the body cardiac muscles a place in our vertebrates body where two or more bones meet together is a dash joint Number 4 the tissue that joins two bones together is known as dash ligament number 5 the joint which moves a part of a body in one direction is known as hing joint number 6 the joints which moves a part of a body in circular direction is known as dash joint ball and socket number 7 the stomach is an example of dash muscle smooth muscle number 8 the muscular system works with the dash system to help you move skeletal system and number 9 dash muscles make up the internal hollow organs in the body smooth muscle then column a e and column b number 1 a tissue that holds two or more bones together at a movable joint is known as ligament in option b you will match them number 2 the framework of bones in a body is known as skeleton number 3 a group of tissue performing a specific a specific function it is known as organ you will match them in column b and it is organ number 4 a thick sheet of tissue that attaches a muscle to a bone and it is tendon the building unit of all living things and it is cell now you will draw a diagram nervous tissue connective tissue and epithelial tissue on your copy okay these diagrams are on your book page number 2 plus 3 So this is the end of your chapter thank you